Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Art Trooper Mark here, and I'm back with another Star Wars action figure review. Uh, now just as, pr as I promised in my previous video, I have not one figure, but I have four figures to review for you again today. This is the second of two Toys R Us exclusive Battle Over Endor figure packs. And, uh, okay, yeah. So we'll just get right into it. So first we'll we'll move these guys out of the way and we'll show you the packaging. Now pretty much the same as the other packaging. Just the the diorama in the back is, is slightly different, but again depicts the as mentioned battle over Endor space battle. Uh, see here again it says includes four exclusive figures. See Star Wars Battle Over Endor. There's the Toys R Us exclusive sticker there. See number two of two. Get the Hasbro logo. And as we flip it over again, still image from Return of the Jedi. You have the. This is the, uh, the figure description on the back. Now, I read this the first time around. Uh, so it's, it's the same as on the first pack. So I won't bother reading it again. But you can pause the video if you want. If you want to read this. And you see on the back we have the figures. Uh, Major Meanda. Skyth One Tie Pilot, and then we have Palso Theron Blue Seven B Wing Pilot. You have R Two T Seven Grizz Frix's Astromech Droid, and finally we have Grizz Frix Red Five X Wing Pilot. And again, if I'm Butchering these names, you know, I'm sorry. You know, these Star Wars names can be really difficult to pronounce sometimes. What can I say? And here's a look. This is the first pack which I reviewed in my previous video. And again, the usual Hasbro, StarWars.com, usual stuff. So there's the packaging. And now we'll go to the figures. Now, you have this figure, which is pretty much the exact same figure as in the first pack. Same head sculpt, same details. The, the only two differences, as you'll see in the belt, so you have the, the belt with the holster and there's a second belt buckle. And you can see the other one behind. And it is, this is a working uh, holster. And now this guy comes with a Stormtrooper blaster. As opposed to the other uh, TIE Fighter blaster that came with the other figure. Right. You know, usual, typical blaster we've seen, you know, hundreds of times. So nothing too new there. Is that other than that, the same figure. So I'll show you here. This is the the figure from the first pack. So you see that it's the same figure, same head sculpt, everything. And the only other difference is on the helmet. So you have this silver stripe on the helmet here, and there is no stripe on this helmet. So other than that, so the stripe and the belt buckle, and he has a different weapon. But that's, those are the only uh, differences. Articulation on this guy is the same. Ball jointed head, ball and shoulders, elbow, swivel forearms, uh, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and uh, no ankle articulation. So there's the tie pilot. And next we have... This guy, 
And, you know, this is very similar to one of the other pilots in the first pack, only uh, he's got red coloring on his jumpsuit. A little gray on the back. Again, you have the the white tubing that uh, with the holes they slot into the, the chest piece and on the belts and you know that's your hoses for life support and oxygen oxygen and uh, that stuff. Same blaster as that as the other figure. You know nothing too special. You know, different head sculpt on this guy. He's a, this guy's a blonde, as opposed to the other guy with sort of reddish brown hair. But cool figure, uh, articulation. You have ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel forearms, uh, ball jointed torso, swivel hips. Ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. Now here you see. It gives you a good look at his helmet. Yeah. Basically the same. A little more detail in the other helmet I think. A little more paint deco. This, was, this one's a little more plain. But still nice. Well, I'll move on to the Astromech that comes in this pack. And again, as I mentioned in the earlier video, you know, Astromechs are they're they're pretty much the same. It just kind of repaints over and over, but you know, they're still interesting. They're still fun to look at and collect and uh again, this is more the sort of R2D2 kind of body type. Uh, the only feature on this is again, if you if you twist the head, if I can get the head to twist, if you twist the head, there you go. The you have the sensor that pops up. Okay, and like most Astromechs, you have wheels on the bottom. The third leg is removable. It doesn't retract into the body or anything like that with uh, some others. So he can roll along and do whatever he needs to do on, on the ship. Okay. So there's the astromech. And then we have the, the final figure, which is the, the X-Wing pilot. Now this is very kind of very reminiscent of many other figures we've seen. You know, I think we we've seen more X-wing pilots, I would say, than than any other type of ship. So we've seen this the typical orange jumpsuit with the little white vest and the J the the gray uh, chest box there, and he has a more typical. Blaster again, nothing we haven't seen before. We can get this to focus. Yeah. You know, it's it's more of the sort of Han Solo, Luke Skywalker type pistol. So but you know, again, nothing too too different from with this guy than with other pilots. And uh, his articulation you have just as just like with the other one, you have uh, ball jointed neck, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, swivel forearms, uh, ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So all these figures in both these packs have some pretty great articulation. So you know, nice head sculpts, good paint, and you know, nothing wrong with any. They're all fine figures and great additions to your collection. And again, especially if you love pilots. So really bulk up your Rebel and Imperial forces. So really good. I'll show you his helmet. 
Again, I like the uh, the deco on this helmet. Some really, really cool little designs on the top and, and all over on the side and the back. Very nice. Yeah, really cool. Really cool. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the Battle Over Endor pack number two. Like I said, not much difference with with these figures and the other figures, so the really you know, you have different head sculpts and you have different uh, paint apps on the figures. Other than that, the, the figures are the same as so it's not too much to talk about, but still, you know, it's a great pack, and and uh, some four really really good figures for for the money. Uh, these were about thirty two dollars on ToysRUs.com, just to let you know. They may be I don't know if they're cheaper if you physically in the store I don't know I. I don't remember what they were when I saw these in the store. The one time I saw these in the store. But I finally able to pick them up on their website. So yeah, there you go. This is the Battle Over Endor Pack 2 of 2. You know, th these are a little more... These figures look a little more tradition traditional than we're used to seeing. Uh, especially, like I said, with the X-Wing pilot, I guess the the first pack, those figures are a little more interesting looking. These are a little more colorful. So, not sure which one I like more. I think maybe the first pack. So, but either way, both are great packs, great figures. And so, yeah, there's my, my video on pack number two of the Battle Over Endor. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I kind of fumbled my words a little bit, but that's uh, that happens sometimes. We're not we're not always going to be 100%. So anyway, so yeah, as usual, thank you for watching, and you know, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's that's about it. I'll sign off and just say, may the force be with you. So long, guys.